Hello there everyone, my name is Zay Red, and welcome back to more of Sonic Adventure 1 Big Story. We finally caught that moronic frog and now we get to continue on. Uh. You know the bad thing is I said I needed a break and I'm li and this is like legitimately like three seconds after I after I ended it. Wow. Is it alright for me to be here? Yes. So do you trust me? So these are the seven emeralds. Chaos the, are the seven chaos emeralds unified by one that is the controller. The seven chaos, the controller itself. Could this be the emerald that controls the seven chaos? Yes. Froggy, I don't like the looks of this place. <laughs> oh, man. If something happens now, there's no point to my rescue or do. Someone need to rescue know who me. would bother to save us both. Actually, now I think about it, Tails might because he's the only we one you interact with. Emergency alert has been canceled. Resuming monorail operations. Monorail. 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 Use the monorail to get out of the ship. It's the game's way of saying the big is too big. <laughs> Move, peasant. I think that after you do this with big, anyone can take the monorail. At least that's what I think, anyway. But alright, right, now it's time for it. The finale. That we've all been waiting for. Especially if you're me. Time for the ultimate duel. A big cat versus this thing. You're trying to escape. I'm right on time. Hey up! Grab him! Get that frog! And don't forget the Chaos Emerald. He looks like he's seen some stuff during that scene. All right, and now for the frog. The frog is possessed by your tail. Once you get your tail, you'll be complete and ultra strong. And with that tail no more. Leading, that actually does lead to an attack I don't think we ever see. Unbelievable! <laughs> Look what happened! Chaos has transformed again! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I like I was questioning nothing. Gotta go! Froggy? I'll save you! Don't worry, Pally! So, he's your friend, eh? No sweat! I'll get him back! 
Watch me. You know what, Sonic? Got second fight. I haven't had a boss fight yet. So it's my turn to show him. Careful, Froggy. Don't worry. We'll get you back. <laughs> Did I just leave us be? Aim for the fog and cast your lure. What the heck? I'm thinking I'm the only person to ever have this much trouble capturing Froggy. Wait, can he actually attack you? I wonder now. Oh, come on. Of course the easiest boss is the hardest one for you to do anything on. Oh god, he actually can attack you. Uh, what's with this? What is with my luck today with Big? There we go. I don't know why I was having so much trouble, but man, that was embarrassing. Hooray! And with that big the cat story is 100 percent done. I won't let them take you away again. Go! Go on and get out of here! I'll do the rest! Oh, okay. Thanks. Come little buddy. Time to get a move on. Fun fact, there's um a different adversary that did some stuff with Sonic, I mean with um this game. And it has one of my favorite scenes where it's just like, you know what, I'm done taking everyone's crap. I'm gonna I'm gonna enter my inter persona in order to defeat this thing. And it's like, what you gonna do? Duke Nukem. Okay, now this I don't believe at all. Showing why. Look at this mess. Okay, doesn't show it. Big somehow managed to fly the plane all the way to here. Like I do not believe that in. I mean, one bit. You know, as annoying as I don't, as no, as annoying as Big's gameplay is, to see the guy who's basically harmless, um, just go back to living a nice, peaceful life, I like that. No joke here, I do like that. Look seriously, good for you, Big. And everybody, that's the end of the story for the running joke of the so of Sonic. Well, one of them. Big the Cat. And once again, I don't hate his story, I just really, really, really hate his gameplay. And one, and seeing this, this picture shows something I forgot to show off. During Big's story, since he's kind of in the middle of everybody, a bunch of times you can actually find, oh, I forgot that was there. You can actually find um, some of his, um, I mean, um, people to talk to and listen to him. But yeah, I kind of wish they did choose something different for Big's gameplay style, just have him do something else and have him be like a mini game or something like that, because Big is 100% mandatory to beat for the game. And sometimes it can go like what you saw the first part did, where, I mean the first time I did it did, where it can be perfectly good and nothing will happen, nothing bad will happen, or you can have it be like the rest of the time I was doing it, where it can be complete utter chaos and headache inducing. But it's never ever getting that bad. I mean, it does get that bad that often, but when it does, oh god, is it frustrating? Also, I, I should mention this one, because I, I haven't talked that much about any of the other character themes, but I will take this time to talk about Biggs, because 
I like mids. Don't know why. Don't worry, don't don't get me wrong. I like everything. I like just about everything in this game. But the other bizarre nature of Bigs makes it kind of my favorite. That plus it is a really really good song. Though I do have to admit, I kind of could have I kind of could have done a lot without I mean either without like um like if you. I gotta admit, this would be kind of a dumber thing for Big, but I kind of liked it if instead of him constantly losing the frog, it was a frog that looked very similar to Froggy or something like that. You would find within these levels, and that's his re and that's the reason behind why he does it. Oh, and this is the area I was trying—I was thinking about showing off. I think it's inside, um, like some waterway or something like that. So I didn't know exactly where it was. Unlike Amy, I won't. I can't go. I won't go back through that stage again and get that. But with Amy, it was just something simple to do. Oh yeah, there were. I think there were two power ups I missed. Not. I'm not entirely sure about that, and I do apologize if I'm wrong on that. But I know I at least missed one because we saw it earlier. In fact, um, that's actually one of the bad things. There's a couple of power ups in these games that you can miss, and it'll make your time worse, in my opinion. Like. In Sonic Adventure 2, there is a there's a necklace that Knuckles gets that allows him to breathe underwater. Now, if you play just the regular now for now for um Team Hero, there's no real reason to need that. However, though, when you play the last story, you're gonna need that. Like it makes it makes his um stage unplayable. I mean, pretty much unplayable if you don't have that item. Thankfully, Big doesn't have anything like that. Especially though they put that green, I mean that green thing right there for you. So, so thank, once again, thank you. There's nothing that bad in this game. You know, besides Froggy's dead look, <laughs> that's actually a, that's actually kind of heartwarming. Like Froggy looks like he's seen the end of days. But yeah, that's it. So, once again, thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch with me. Next time we next time we meet up, we will be doing E one hundred and one Gamma. And then, I'm sorry, E102 Gamma. I don't know why I keep saying E101 Gamma. But once again, thank you all for taking time out of your day to watch this. And this has been Zero with everyone. Take care, and until next time.